Tra-la-la! Yes. Where will you go today? Let's go to Hotland. Push, 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 push. Look at the little doge. Water is very dry today. Is it really, though? Is it? Ba-da. Do-do. Come again sometime, tra la la! Feeling hot, hot, hot. <laughs> uh, right floor three, I think. Seems about right. Oh, that guy is still shocked. <laughs> he can stay like that for a while. It's fine with me. Let's go, baby. in use. Oh. Is that going to lead me back to the hotel? The whole city. It's all gray, colorless. I need to add some paint on the walls or something. No determination? The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen in the hallway. Oh no, this is like Resident Evil. I gotta find all the keys. Well, let me open the gift. Hey, how's it going, Perna? There we go. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. A locket? You're carrying to- oh, hang on. Let's see what this is all about. Get the heart-shaped locket. Imagine if you could just eat it. Heart locket armored. Defense 15, it says best friends for. You know what? I don't know if the whole defense thing is an actual thing. We're gonna use it. Because I need some defense. Is this the thing that gives me, like, health every time I, uh, every other turn? <sighs> yeah, we're just not gonna use it. We'll just, we'll just say goodbye to the apron. The apron was kind of nice. But one HP is not better than more defense, sadly. <laughs> one HP every other turn, that is, too. Alright. It's sad how Asgore designed his new house after his old one. Oh. For whatever reason, in my brain, I thought it was the other way around. Yeah, this is his new kingdom. <laughs> my dumb self thought, like, the other place was the... Never mind. I don't know. You're right. Yeah. That that makes way more sense. My HP is really not worth it. I sadly, 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 it's not. Sadly. 
Oh, you're right. We're under renovations. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Oh. Take the key and put it in your phone's keychain. Despite everything, it's still you. It's a golden flower. Oh! Number one. It's a trophy. Number one. Nose nuzzle champs. Oh. Like when you go like. Nuzzles! Like that. With someone. It's a clothes drawer. There are robes, button up shirts, and a pink hand knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. I immediately just thought of Phoenix, right? It's a bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. <gasps> this is Santa's place! Oh my god! It's a king size bed. As Asgore's journal, all the current pages say, It's nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. Also, do you guys like how it's a king size bed? Cuz... Hey, you get it? You, you get it. You, you get it. I'm not gonna explain it. It's because he's the king! Oh, shoot. I said it. Azrael, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Hey, Krisha, how's it going? It's a golden flower. Over time, Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Did someone say hope? You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Is there a pie here? It's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. Oh! He's trying to make his own. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. Yo, I still want that snail pie though, I'm telling you. That probably slaps. No calendar from the end of 2010x. A data circled on it. It's the end of the world, guys. It's 2012. Then one day, the human became very ill. Okay, thank you, cockroaches. <laughs> Sick human had only one request to see the flowers from their village. There was nothing we could do. Why are some... Why are they some evil-looking turnips? The next day... The next day... <laughs> the human died. Oh. That's not so funny. Azrael racked with grief, absorbed the human's soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. I'm excited to see the full release. That is gonna be good. I got I got to try a little bit of a demo, and I thought it was good already. And I know it's gonna only be better. Uh, with the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body to the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Azrael reached the center of the village. There he found a bed of golden flowers. Carry the human onto it. Yo, is the is the child Snow White? <laughs> like Snow White was on that little coffin of flowers. Suddenly, screams ran rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But Azrael did not fight back. Watching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Aww. That's sad. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. 
is dust spread across the garden. Oh man, why you gotta ruin the, the flowers like that? It's gross. <laughs> the kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. That's sad. Oh, come on! <laughs> let me just get more than two steps. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. King Asgore will give us hope, will save us all. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? You know, all I'm gonna say is they're all planning on going to, you know, like above ground. And, you know, like they just wanna, like, be free and over there. But the humans are gonna slaughter them. And my reasoning is this because if you play the genocide route, you're a child, right? And you kill everything in the genocide route. So if a human child can destroy the monsters, think about grown men. And like armies at that. <laughs> These guys are too innocent to fight. You're going to be free. Oh, sweet the elevator. Wait, is that the way forward or? Nope. I know that room. Oh, okay. Last corridor. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then, now. You will be judged. You'll be judged for your every action. You'll be judged for every EXP you burn. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for execution points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love too is an acronym. It stands for a level of violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourselves. The more you distance yourselves, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. It's just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you face, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right, we're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Whoa, what the heck? Where'd he go? This man teleported. This man needs some color in his kingdom. Throne room. Is this a secret wall with a secret door? So here. Where does this lead? Oh. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Silver. It's empty. Monka. 
I'm not even dead yet, man. Come on. Ugh. You know, like, how people... And usually it's whenever they're getting older, how they, like, go ahead and plan, like, what coffin they want and everything. God, it's such, like, a morbid thing to think about. And I get, you know, you're just planning ahead, but... Can you imagine you're like, yep, I'm going to die, and this is going to be the coffin I lay in. Oh my god, this is that scene from, from Final Fantasy VII! I, yo, yo, my character did fall from a high place and land in a patch of flowers. Asgore, are you actually Aerith? <laughs> Dum de dum. Whoa. Is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. I'll have to care because I'm dead. <laughs> like, this is your favorite minimalist song? Like this ambience right here? Here we are. How, do, how can I... Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh. I so badly want to say that you like a cup of tea, but you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming, and you're actually Toriel in, in cross-dressing form. <laughs> Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do? When you're ready, come into the next room. Okay. Oh, it's another throne. Oh, that's sad. How tense. Just think of it like the visit to the dentist. What a nice guy. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't, don't use that parallel, please. You're gonna scare gamers from the dentist. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. Oh, this looks cool. Yo! This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, by chance, you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Look, I'm buddy. I am not walking back. I'm too lazy, so let's just get this over with. I see. This is it, then. Ready. My god, this is like the comics of Scott Pilgrim. When Gideon has all his ladies in the like little tubes. Twilight shining through the barrier. Seems your journey is finally over. Here we go with the jams. You're filled with determination. Human. Nice to meet you. Goodbye. He just got rid of my spare. Let's talk with him. You quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Oh man. Oh! Oh boy. I don't know how I went unscathed there, but I'll take it. You tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. Oh, he's got asthma. Got it. Oh. Oh, shoot. I should probably heal. He firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack drops. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm trying to eat some food. Oh, 
so I got okay, so I gotta go by the color of this gleam. That means what color attack he's gonna use, God. Wait, did I take damage? I took damage. How did I take damage? Oh, I wasn't moving, that's why. I'm not supposed to move when it's blue. Seems talking won't do any more good. Oh. Oh, this is cool. Oh, oh boy. There was no way I was gonna make it to the other side in time. Thank god that was over. Okay, so I need to try to find something else to do, maybe? Uh, let's go ahead and heal. Cause... Wait, no, do we heal seven? No. Wait, we're not gonna popsicle. That was a unicycle. Now we'll eat it. You eat the unicycle. Why was it called a popsicle? It's never been called that before. It always said unicycle, I'm pretty sure. Blue, don't move. Here. Maybe I needed to like. Oh my god. I cannot get this. I... Let's check them out. I always just like mess up on that. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. oh. There's a lot of items to get changed for this battle. Really? I don't want to fight him, though. Oh. It's getting harder, so I'm, I'm assuming I still have to talk to him. Like, the noodles are actually instant in this fight. Oh, so you don't actually cook them? It doesn't do, like, that funny thing. Uh, now, let's, let's heal. Man, this is so good. Ah, oh, taking so much damage. I hate this. Oh, I like that. That was actually think of like Mario and Luigi type of stuff. Oh! Oh! Maybe I do need to fight him a bit. Just like not kill him is all. Well, I don't know. This is it feels like it's still getting harder. We'll just keep doing this. If we die, then I'll know next time to attack. Running out of bicycles. Easy. Let's just talk this over with. Come on, buddy. I'm your therapist. Oh, jeez. That was close. Oh, shoot. I was moving. <laughs> brain. My brain switched off on that one. Survive that. I didn't survive that one though. You eat one half of the place. What if I give him Toriel's pie? 
Or if I just eat it in his face and be like, hey, your wife made this pot. Getting a little better at those. Come on, you don't want to fight me. We already know it. We already know you really don't want to do this. Oh, really? Come on. I got hit by that. Oh, unlucky. I mean the pie in front of them. We ate the butterscotch pie. The smell reminded Asgore of something. Oh, I was supposed to do this? What happens if you don't have the pie? Seems talking won't do anything. Whoa! How'd I miss that? I don't know, maybe I do need an attack. At this point, I'll just let him kill me. I want my healing items. If I'm supposed to attack, I want healing items first. <laughs> we'll just keep trying to heal until then. Hush, puppy. I think he has like several or looking attacks like Toriel. Like the fire in the hands. Come on, dude, I'm dying here. What if I'm supposed to die? Just kill me. Kill me. I don't have any more healing items. Just kill me. I'll help you do it. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Guess it wasn't scripted. Cannot end now. Silver, stay determined. I... I don't hate when games do that. Like, you know, more power to you if you want to pretend like I have a chance and it's supposed to be like, oh no, you're supposed to... You know, it's scripted, you're supposed to die, but... I can't stand it when I lose all my healing items and everything because I didn't realize. All right. We'll, uh, we'll still talk to him and when it says you can't talk anymore, then we'll attack him a bit. Just to see if anything changes. Maybe you have to like almost kill him and then at the last, when he's at like one HP left, you don't actually kill him. Oh, wait, what? You tell Asgore he killed you once before? He not sadly. What the heck? <laughs> I'm like 100% guys. I don't remember any of this at all. I know I told y'all in the past I've seen a playthrough of it. It was a long time ago. I don't remember how this fight goes. He finally to Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection splashes in his eyes. Asgore's attacks drops. Maybe I'll just keep dying then. Seems talking won't do any more good. Alright, kill me again, boy. Let's just die. But hang on. Do I have okay, I have all my items at least. Kill me a lot so we can advance. You ready for this endless cycle to continue? Ready?
It's Asgore? Oh, that's smart. He's killed you twice before, he nods sadly. He's like, yeah, I did kill you twice. Tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him, his breathing gets funny for a moment. I'm getting better at dodging. He frowns his eyes to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes as Gord's attack drops. <laughs> Team Saki won't do any more good. Alright, kill me again. Here, I'll make it easy for you. I'll get hit. Kill me now so we can advance. Do -do 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 -do. Kill me now. I just want to die. I'm not gonna sing anymore. <laughs> You're going to be alright. Alright. Your next words are ready? No, I'm not Joseph and can predict your words. I just seen this before because I keep dying because you keep killing me Monster you Really tell Oscar that he's killed you three times. He not sadly. Come on, man. If you kill me that many times, why don't you stop now? You tell Oscar that you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. I only tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Come on! I have to like just die again, I guess. Let's get this over with. Talking okay, won't we'll do any more good. Alright. People speed run this, they're just trying to like die as quickly as possible or fake rest upon you. Your next words are ready. This is Groundhog Day. Alright, come on, man. You killed me four times. Is that enough? Do you want to make it five? Five seems more like a perfect number than four. Stop nodding! Don't be like, yeah, I did that. I'm just gonna let him hurt me so I die quicker. In case I have to do this a fifth time. Alright. You probably tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack drops. I died again. Don't lose hope. Stay determined. Something's got to change. I believe it. I believe it. Come on, we got this. Go do five times, man. Oh, here we go. It's different. He not as previously. Come on, make this the good timeline now. Because where they don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. Let's try to survive just in case. This is him. From the top score, stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Oh, come on. You have to do this a sixth time. Alright, guess we're going to do this again. Whee! Our fate 
fate rests upon you. No, our fate literally rests upon you, Ascor. Stop killing me. Jeez. I don't know. I was ready the last six times. I think I'm ready the seventh time as well. Mercy. Mercy is no longer an option. That's ridiculous. Guess we're gonna make it seven. We're gonna make it seven, I guess. Wow, that was a quick death. It cannot end now. I don't want to be determined anymore, man. You don't have to worry about the pain of dying over and over again like I am. Please let something come out of this. Maybe, maybe seven is the magic number because he needs seven hearts. So, you know. Maybe this is it. Killed you seven times. He knows previously. Come on, man! Do you want to make it ten? Is ten your perfect number? What is your perfect number here? I'm gonna stop at three! Three is usually the, the, the number in video games. Not three, then five or seven. Come on. You can't go more than seven. Maybe eight. Because, you know, sometimes in, like, like Sonic games, you got to hit Eggman eight times. So maybe that's where you're going with here. You're inspired by the Eggmeister. It's fine. Okay. Okay, that was eight times. Are we done here yet? Or are we going with the tin? Okay, give me like an hour. Eight times. Come on. Eight is a lot. Eight is plenty. I'm going to ten. If uh, nothing changes after ten, I'm, I'm gonna start attacking him. I can't take this agony anymore. Talking won't do any more good. Kill me now where I stand. Wait, am I not? Is this it? I don't know. already killed you nine times. Dude, come on. How many more times are you gonna murder me? You don't feel bad about what you're doing over here? Alright, something better change. I'm gonna start attacking back. Something better change or I'm fighting back. <laughs> that was ten times I've had to endure this. Let me see, just in case. Oh boy. There is no mercy anymore.
too many times to count. He dies pitifully. Oh, this has to be new. This, this has to be it. Tell us whether you don't want to fight him. It's really it's funny for a moment. Ooh, look at me not taking any damage now. Oops. Team's talking won't do any more good. Oh, come on, man! Do you want me to? All right, I'm slicing you up one. There, you got hit a bit. Knock some sense into this dude. Still a pacifist route, just just a little, just a little, you know. Just jabbed him a little bit. It's fine. Oh my god. Okay, kill me again. Just kill me. There, you've killed me again. Are you happy? <laughs> Cannot give up just yet. Maybe we do need to kill him a bit. 